851, turn right, heading 180. Hi everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to DJ's Aviation. In what has been, I'd say, quite a quiet period for the Boeing 777X, with no new orders, nor any huge strong rumours indicating a new order was coming, in recent days that actually has changed. Boeing on their social media platforms have started showing off their very first 777X, that little bit more than before. You may recall I have made a video detailing the first pictures of the 777X many months back, but now it is finally assembled. Boeing on their social media platforms in turn have started to show off this aircraft. As you might have known, this particular 777 in question has actually been in the assembly hall for some time now. However, in the past two days, Boeing revealed the very first pictures of their 777X aircraft. This is an aircraft that is set to be the longest one flying. The 777X also features the brand new folding wingtips, and in the picture showcased, we also got our first glimpse of them. The first pictures show the 777X, which is I'd say largely assembled. However, it is still missing a few key features, but some of them won't be added on, because interestingly enough, this particular bird will actually never fly. Boeing say that the first 777X is for purely static tests to get an indication of how crucial features are tracking. The tests include structural ones on the wings, fuselage and the struts. All of this in turn will give Boeing a great indication as to how the aircraft is moving along and whether changes need to be made. After all, this is a brand new aircraft and it's not like the 785th 737 MAX. Boeing will attach loads to the wing and distribute the load in a way that emulates air loads. This is according to Doreen Bingo, who is Boeing's static test aircraft leader. She further added in a video posted on the Boeing Twitter page, the static test is our opportunity to verify all the load-bearing parts of the structure. The intention is to test the structural strength of the airframe. To clarify as well, the first 777X seen in the picture now is actually the 777-9, the longer of the two variants. The first 777-8 will actually be delivered to customers two years after the first dash nine is. In the video released by Boeing, they designate the first 777-9 as WH-001, or Whiskey Hotel-001. I find that the emergence of the first 777-X is extremely exciting, not only for the community, but for the industry in general. For the majority of you watching this video, you probably would have been alive and alert when Boeing announced the 777-X aircraft. Today we sit seeing it partially complete, and almost ready for testing. Soon it'll fly and then it'll begin its life, potentially spanning for many decades. And we've been there for all of it. It's an exciting time, no doubt. And with more orders hopefully on the cards, the aircraft signals a new generation of planes, with the likes of the 767, 757, and more departing the scene, and aircraft like the A350, 787, A330neo, 777X, and more all coming in. The Boeing 777X comes in just the two variants at the moment, and currently there are 326 orders, commitments, and letter of intents in place. This is broken up with 53 for the 777-8, and 273 for the 777-9, the variant we've been discussing in today's video. The largest operator once fully delivered at this stage will be Emirates, but there's always the potential for that to change. However, with 150 orders placed, I wouldn't say it's likely that any other airline will overtake them. Other carriers which have placed their faith in the air airplane include Singapore Airlines, All Nippon Airways, Qatar Airways, Cathay Pacific, Etihad Airways, Lufthansa, and an unidentified customer. Deliveries are set to be well underway for both variants by 2023, and Boeing will definitely be eager to fill all the delivery slots, especially in the early years of production. You can expect to see the first 777 up and flying in our skies sometime next year, if all goes according to plan. What are your thoughts on the Boeing 777X aircraft, and do you have a particular airline that you'd like to see take it on board in the future? I'd like to thank you very much for all your support, especially on the DJ show, which I did yesterday. That will be coming next Sunday, if you weren't aware, at its usual time of 6pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. What I'm going to do now is roll my new outro, which I created on Photoshop. I'm actually starting to learn a little bit more about that software, so I'm going to try and start implementing it more in videos with things like the new intro, the banners you've been seeing, and a whole lot more. So once again, thank you very much, and I do hope you'll all join me in the next one. Race all of these
these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly